All right. Ugh, let's design our character. For this game I've never played. Long beard. Silly mustache. Also silly mustache. The handlebar mustache is pretty funny. I like this mustache. That's fine. Oh, color. I can indeed have some ridiculous hair colors. They really let you go nuts with these, don't they? It's never ending. Holy cow. Alright, that's fine. Leave it brown. Oh, it makes a little... It makes the plink. But it also makes... Like a surgical beep. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. I won't lie. That that makes me laugh. We've gotta get the color just right. Uh blue is fine. Actually I'll take this green. Nice green color. Why not? Actually I look like a leprechaun. Now I look like a... I just look like a blue-collar worker. I quite literally, like, bang, blue-collar. We're here. Yeah, oh, the dusty blue is actually kind of nice. There we go. We'll do that. Ah, wait, I see. It does let you change the arms. That's cool. Uh, why are the, oh, yeah, the arms and torso are separate, so I guess it just lets you make, like, different shirt combinations. Very strange. Strange indeed. Oh, that looks fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Actually, I did kind of like the vest. But not that one. I like this one. This vest is fine. My hands. Looks like I have some bracelets on. Legs. I've disappeared. What? <laughs> Why did I disappear? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I'm invisible. Alright, guys. I beat RuneScape. What the hell? Was it the color that messed him up? I have, like, bell-bottom jeans. I would kind of like a brown that's just, like... not assaulting on the eyes. Does it not let me choose brown? Oh, that's quite funny. I mean, I get that brown. I guess I've got black pants. That doesn't make any damn sense. In what world does that make sense? Fine. Ah, there we go. 
I guess it's still loading my options. I like these baggy pants. Those are cool. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's actually better. Can I see what the other legs options are or am I going to turn invisible again? All right, it looks like the other legs options are finally working. After long hours. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Look at the muscles on this guy. This guy's got huge arms. There we go. This is the most important part of of playing a game like this, I think. Wow, the feet make such a negligible difference, it's comical that there's an option for it. <laughs> that's that's insane. What the hell? Oh, one moment. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That brown. That brown's fine. I just need something that serves as like a better intermediary color than uh, do I just match the whole way down? That looks That looks a little NPC esque. Then again I doubt there's really gonna be anything that I'm gonna be able to do to differentiate myself from NPCs for quite a long time. Is if I do know a couple of things about the game and it's, it takes forever to do anything, right? 
That's like the whole gag, is that you're on the treadmill for like, ever. I guess I'll just wear black pants, it doesn't matter, right? Or am I damned to look like this for all of eternity? We're going with this. I've decided. Alright, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to rotate the camera? Surely that's not the only option. Surely that's not the only way. The arrow keys? Scroll with your middle mouse button? Oh, I can hold- okay, okay. I can hold middle mouse button and I can turn my camera, that's fine. Uh, left click will just walk me, and then I- it looks like I can interact with, right? Left click at the ground to move there to this guy. What's up? Greetings. I see you are a new arrival to the world of Gil- Gilinor. Gilinor. My job is to welcome all new visitors. So welcome. You have already learned the first thing needed to succeed in this world. Talking to other people. You will find many inhabitants of this world have useful things to say to you. By clicking on them, you can talk to them. Cool. Before we get going, let me get an experience of old school RuneScape. That would be wonderful. To answer simply, click your chosen answer on the following screen. I'm brand new. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Now then, let's start by taking a looking at your... Wait, taking a looking. Let's learning together with us. Please click on the flashing spanner icon found at the bottom of your right screen. Had I not played World of Warcraft, I would not know what the word spanner means. Give me that Arclight spanner. On the side panel, you can now see a variety of the game settings. You can also click the EA... Click Ace. Wait, what? Click the All Settings button to see all available settings. Cool. Toggle accept aid? Bond pouch? Huh? Premier membership? 20 bonds? Name change? Uh, the game is something. I'm gonna play for free to start. It appears that somebody else is here. Are you a person? X Pandora X 45. Frappy 870. Alright. I can't reach that. Okay. Looks like you're making good progress. The menu you've just opened is one of many. You'll learn about the rest as you progress through the tutorial. Anyway, I'd say it's time for you to go and meet your first instructor. It's time for you to meet your first instructor. To continue, all you need to do is click on the door. It's indicated by the flashing yellow arrow. Remember, you can use your arrow keys to rotate the camera. I'm never using my rotate my, 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 my keys to do that. There's no way. That's atrocious. That feels horrible. Why would I rotate the camera like this? Can I rebind the keys? All settings? Gameplay controls. Keybinds. That's excellent. Wait a minute. This isn't excellent. Single mouse button mode? Middle mouse button controls the camera? Restore default keybinds? Interesting. Camera zoom distance? Limit frame weight? What? Warnings? Pop out? Controls? Are you kidding me? I can't fucking rebind keys? Camera. WASD. Oh, fuck.
exquisite. Also, exquisite, not exquisite. Yeah. It's... It's something, all right. Uh, this, this is... This is a game. This is one of the games of all time. Oh, that's that's a good sound, actually. That 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 sound brought a smile to my face because it sounded so stock. I want to do it again. Kerchunk. That makes me happy. I don't know why that makes me happy, but it scratches my brain. All right. Uh, so. It seems to me that... Jesus. Alright, there's the master volume. I'll lower it a little bit. Toggle run. My current run energy. Oh, yeah. There we go. How do I... Is there a button that I can do for this? Is there keybind? I'll run everywhere? Yeah, see, look, my energy goes away. So... Okay. Maybe we'll just walk. I also have... <laughs> I, this is one of the progress bars of all time. A net fishing spot. Hello there, newcomer. My name is Brynna. My job is to teach you about the skills you can use to survive in this world. Wow. Thank you. The first skill we're going to look at is fishing. There are some shrimp in this pond here. Let's try to catch some. We'll call me Forest. Let's go. To view the item you've been given, you'll need to open up your inventory. To do so, click on the flashing backpack icon to the right-hand side of your screen. Excellent. I have a net. I... I have it. I... Use. Ah! Net fishing spot. Fuck yeah. One of the games of all time. I'm a fucking champion, look at this. I have I have a raw shrimp. I have two options. I can use them or drop them. What does use do? I'm using them. I've used them. I, you've managed to catch some shrimp. You've gained some experience. Click on the flashing bar graph icon near the inventory button to see your skills menu. Skills. Holy fuck. There's a lot of these. And they're all at one. So I'm level 32? You start the game at level 32? That can't be right. Is that correct? Free total level. 24. What does that mean? What other skills? I have attack. I have heart. Use shrimp, chomp. Indeed. I just eat it raw. That'd be funny. Mining, strength, agility, smithing, defense, herblore. Herblore is members only? Ah, that's the members thing. That's like, that's with like the bonds. So I have to get bonds in order to become members. Understood. View ranged guide. Thieving. Thieving is members only as well. Cooking. Prayer. Crafting. Fire making. Magic. Fletching. Fletching is members only. Woodcutting. Runecraft. Slayer. Slayer is members only. So is farming. End construction and hunter. Wait, that's fucked. I want to be a hunter. I was a hunter in World of Warcraft. Surely I can be a hunter in this game. Memers only? My memers? You managed to catch some shrimp. Click here to continue. Skills and experience. On this menu, you can view your skills. Your skills are leveled up by earning experience, which is gained by performing various activities, i.e. clicking. As you level up your skills, you will learn new unlocks. Speak to the survival expert to continue. Excellent. Hello, survival expert. Let's speak. Oh, wow. I can really zoom in it. I can make a cinematic experience for everyone here. 
I've managed to catch some shrimp. Excellent work. Now that you have some shrimp, you're going to want to cook them. To do that, you'll need a fire. This brings us to the woodcutting and fire making skills. Cool. The survival expert gives you a bronze axe and a tinderbox. Let's fucking go. It's time to cook your shrimp. However, you require a fire to do that, which means you need some logs. You can cut down trees using your woodcutting skill. All you need is an axe. Give it a go by clicking on one of the trees in the area. Let's let's give it a go, shall we? So wait a minute. Inventory. None of these are hotkeyed as well. That's that's actually atrocious. Holy shit. It's it's actually just click on everything. I would like hotkeys. I have like at least a, a few keys on my keyboard. I can count at least five or six of them. I can't count much higher than that, though. Wield bronze, bronze axe. I can wield it? How do I wield? Wield. I'm wielding it. Okay. Hey, Vaughn. Thanks. New nickname? Hell yeah. Nickname accepted. Ah, yes! I'm chopping down the tree. Your character is now attempting to cut down the tree. Sit back for a moment while he does that. <laughs> okay, fuck. You managed to cut some logs. Hell yeah, I've got logs. Fire making. Now that you have some logs, it's time to light a fire. First, click on the tinderbox in your inventory. Then, with the tinderbox highlighted, click the logs to use the tinderbox on them. So, wait a minute, click the tinderbox. Then, click the logs. I've done it. I've managed to figure out how to do it. It's fine. I've created fire. I promise I'll put it out after I'm done. Now it's time to get cooking. To do so, click on the shrimp in your inventory. Okay, then with it highlighted, click on the fire to cook them. Bang. Oh, well that's actually quite efficient. I don't have to like right click and do use and cook and stuff like that. I can just highlight the item and then go bang. Well, that's good. You'll be told how to equip, equip items later, okay? Well done, you've cooked your first meal. Speak to the survival expert if you want to recap. Otherwise, you can move on. Click the gate and follow the path. Remember, you can use your arrow keys to rotate the camera. I don't want to use my arrow keys to rotate the camera. I would like to bind them to W, A, S, and D so I can hold my keyboard in a, in a position that is much more efficient, I think. At least, but there's no keybinds for anything, so maybe it just doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> that's that's insane, and it's literally only those two keys, by the way. Like, if I do up and down, it doesn't ch it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't zoom in and out like you'd expect. It's kind of funny. I like how from like just a different era this game feels. This game feels like a relic, and there's nothing wrong with that. I kind of enjoy it. Everything is bound to left mouse? You're actually right. That has to be the most efficient keybind I've ever seen in my existence. Let's catch some fish, some some shrimps. Why not? Let's keep catching shrimp. Ashes? 94 GP. Does it stand for gamer points? Sit back for a moment while he does the hard work. You've just cooked another meal. Speak to the survival expert if you want to recap, otherwise you can move on. Remember, you can use your arrow keys to rotate the camera. I will be using middle mouse all of the time. This is actually just a one-hand game. This is excellent. We can lean back. We can relax. Now where do I go? Let's go this way. Hello. A chef. Talk to Master Chef. Talk to the chef indicated. He will teach you some more advanced aspects of cooking, such as combining ingredients. Wow. Ah, welcome, newcomer. 
I am the master chef, Lev. It is here that I will teach you to cook food truly fit for a king. Excellent. I already know how to cook. Brenna taught me just now. And look at how fucking mad he looks. He looks so mad. <laughs> you call that cooking? Some shrimp and an open log fire? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to teach you the fine art of cooking bread. The master chef gives you some flour and some water. This is the base for many meals. To make dough, you must mix flour with water. To do so, click on the flour in your inventory. Then, with the flour highlighted, click on the water to combine them into dough. Aha. Uh -huh. Flour, water, pot. I've done it. Now that I've made the dough, Wait. Click on the indicated range. The who? Hello, cook range. So I clicked on them and they disappeared. And now it's here. You managed to break, bake some bread. Hell yeah. Uh, but question, where's my bread? It's not in my inventory. My cooking is now level two. Let's go! I've beaten the game. I've got to level two. Well done. You've baked your first loaf of bread. As you gain experience in cooking, you will be able to make other things like pies and cakes. You can now use the next door to move on. If you need a recap on anything, talk to the master chef. Ziffo, it's been good hanging out. Look forward to seeing you next time. Okay. Hello, chef. Do you need something? Nothing. I already know how to do all of your things. Ah, there's my bread. I can indeed eat it. Chef, you have some shit on your floor, by the way. You should clean this up. It's not sanitary. You have shit over there as well. Filthy chef. Can't even believe it. It's shameful, honestly. Hmm? Well, now where do I go? Oh, I was supposed to go out that door? Now, I clicked that door from all the way over there. Am I going to really do what I think I'm about to do? And walk like this? I tried to just take the path of least resistance, didn't I? I tried to get as close in a line as possible. So I was supposed to go out this door. I went out the wrong door. Nice. Also, is it options here? Toggle run. I can't reach there. 1629. Oh, I can click the map as well. Hello, quest guide. Ah, welcome, adventurer. I'm here to tell you about quests. Let's start by opening your quest list. Click on the flashing icon to the left of your inventory. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is this a joke? Oh, those are free quests. I have those quests, and then there's members quests, and there are a lot of them. Okay. This is your quest journal. It lists every quest in the game. I gathered that. Talk to the quest guide again for an explanation on how it works. Cool. 
Now that you have your quest list open, you can see all of the quests within it. Clicking one of the quests will display some more information on it. If you haven't started the quest, it will tell you where to begin and what requirements you need. If the quest is in progress, it will remind you what to do next. It's very easy to find quest start points. Just look at your quest for the quest icon on your minimap. You should see one marking this house. It's the red exclamation point, I imagine? Or is it this? Oh, never mind. The minimap top right corner of the screen has various icons to show different points of interest. Look for the icon on the left to find quest start points. It's a blue X with some lines. Cool. A blue circle with some lines through it, I mean. The quests themselves can vary greatly from collecting breads to hunting down dragons. Oh, beads. I thought it was collecting breads. I was like, what, bread plural is, is just bread. Completing quests will reward you with all sorts of things, such as new areas and better weapons. Excellent. There's a lot more I can tell you about questing. You have experienced the th you have to experience the thrill of it yourself to fully understand. Let me know if you want a recap. Otherwise, you can move on. Nice. It's time to enter some caves. Click on the ladder to go down to the next area. All right. Oh, what the fuck? Hell yeah. This guy has an, an entire dungeon under his house. Next, let's get you a weapon. Or, more to the point, you can make your first weapon yourself. Don't panic, the mining instructor will help you. Talk to him and he'll tell you all about it. Excellent. Hello, mining instructor. Hi there. You must be new around here. So, what do I call you? Newcomer? Seems so impersonal. Ah, newcomer seems so impersonal. And if we're going to be working together, I'd rather call you by name. You may call me J Zero Baron, because Joe Baron was taken, and I'm sad about it. Okay then, Joe. My name is Desik, and I'm a miner by trade. Let's teach you how to mine. Mining is very simple. All you need is a pickaxe. The rocks around here contain tin and copper. Why don't you get started by mining some? The mining instructor gives you a bronze pickaxe. Let's go. It's quite simple. Mine rock, click. First try mining tin. Bang. Oh, he wanted me to click that one. Well, oh, that's fine. I'd click this one. Managed to mine some tin. Ding, ding. Let's go. Now you have some tin and some copper. You can smelt these into a bronze bar. Let's go. You receive one bar of bronze. You've made a bronze bar. Speak to the mining instructor and he'll show you how to make it into a weapon. Hey. I have a bronze bar. What now? Now that you've got a bar, you can smith it into a weapon. To smith something, you need a hammer and an anvil. There are some anvils just that just here that you can use. See if you can make it a bronze dagger. Cool. The mining instructor gives you hammer. Nice. To smith, you'll need a hammer and enough metal bars to make the desired item as well as a handy anvil. To start the process, click on the anvil, or alternatively, use the bar on it. Alright. So I click bar, click anvil. Bang. I can make this. What does he want? Bronze dagger? Now it is time to move on. In this area, you will find out about melee and ranged combat. Speak to the guide and he will tell you about it. Hi, my name's Joberon. Do I look like I care? <laughs> to me, you're just another newcomer who thinks they're ready to fight. I am Vinaka, the greatest swordsman alive, and I'm here to teach you the basics of combat. Let's get started by teaching you to wield a weapon. I now have access to a new interface. Click on the flashing icon of a man, the one to the right of your backpack icon. Worn equipment. Hell yeah. Equip. 
Bang. Oh, now it's equipped. Let's go. That's exciting. I'm now holding my dagger. Clothes, armor, and weapons, and more are equipped like this. You can unequip items by clicking them in the worn inventory. Speak to the combat instructor to continue. Okay. Excellent. Ah, now I'm and now I'm holding it in the overworld all the time. There we go. Hello. Very good. But that little butter knife isn't going to protect you much. Let's get you something a bit better. Once you're properly equipped, we can move on to some actual combat. The combat instructor gives you a bronze sword and a wooden shield. To unequip them, go to your one inventory and click them. Okay. One inventory, click. Items kept on death? Call follower? Guide prices? What? Huh? Bronze sword? Shield. Click on the flashing crossed swords icon to open the combat interface. Oh yeah. Hmm? Ah, combat is here. I can stab, I can lunge, I can block. And auto-retaliate. This is your combat interface. From here, you can select the attack style which you used, which you wish to use in combat. Using different attack styles will give you different types of experience. As well as this, monsters are weak to specific styles. Click on the gates to continue. Okay. Giant rat. Wow, this is gameplay. I'm half dead. Okay. Can I... Attack giant rat. Can I attack this one? It will not let me attack them. Alright, cool. Interesting. I can only kill one rat. I did it! I killed a giant rat! I saw. You seem better than I thought. Now that you've grasped basic sword play, let's move on. Next up, we have ranged combat. With this, you can kill foes from the distance. With ranged, you'll be able to attack rats without entering the pit, meaning they won't be able to fight back. Short bow and bronze arrows. Now you have a bow and some arrows. Before you can use them, you'll need to equip them. Okay. Wield bronze arrow. Bronze pickaxe. No. Ah, uh, short bow. It was in my inventory, but there was no icon for it. Why? Now that you have a bow and some arrows, before you can use them, you'll need to equip them. Once equipped with the ranged gear, try killing another rat. You just don't need to open the pen this time. To attack the rat, just click it. Okay. I click. I win. E. Nice. Got him. One damage. He's avoided me. Nice. And now he's dead. And he squeals. Let's go. To move, click on the indicated ladder. Okay. Talk to the combat instructor? Okay. I moved to this ladder. Yes. And I'll put maybe my sword and shield back on. For now. Uh... Holy moly! Load times are kind of insane. Well, um... 
If you happen to be watching the VOD on YouTube, uh, take this time to maybe leave me a like and, and comment or consider subscribing. I normally don't ask for that, but I'm stunlocked looking at this 15-year-old game on my current day gaming machine. There we go. That's, that's insane. Very old game. But very, very charming game, I guess. I can zoom out hella far now, by the way. Oh, it lets me, it lets me, like, freely maneuver the camera now. Hello. I'm coming in. Oh shit. I'm coming in. I, I'm coming the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, go out. Close door. Banker. Hello. You can't reach this. Click here to continue. This is my bank. I can take my coins. Withdraw all coins. Thank you. I can deposit something. Let's put my bones in there. Sure. Sure this guy won't mind bones being in there. Do I need to deposit anything? Continue close bank. Uh, escape works. Escape has, like, a function. That's great. Pole booth. Pole booths are found across the world. To decide whether or not the next update? Voting is open to members with a skill of 300 to preserve the old school character of this game. An update must gain 70% support to be released. A flag appears on the booth to let you know when you're invited to vote on a poll. What the hell? Yeah, I'm not voting. It requires 300 hours of playtime, so I'm, I don't have to worry about that. Can I not get out? I'm- I'm not permitted to leave. This place is cursed. Hello, account guide. Hello, who are you? I'm the account guide. I'm here to tell you about your account. What's an account? Your character is your account. It's what you are using to play the game right now. Everyone here has one, and some people even have multiple. There are various things you can do with your account, which is where the account management menu comes into play. Let's take a look at it now. Click on the flashing icon to open my account management window. Ah. Ah. Email unlinked. Can I fix that? I'll fix that off stream. This is your account management window. Wait, what? Okay. Talk to the account guide to learn more. As you can see, there's a few things you can do with your account. Firstly, you have a membership. All accounts are free to play by default, and if you desire, you can buy a membership to unlock members' worlds. Ooh. These worlds give you access to extra skills, areas, quests, and more. What's a world? Really? Most worlds can hold up to 2,000 players. They are split into two main types, free worlds and members worlds. You can swap worlds with a world switcher in the logout menu. You are currently on a free world. If you want to switch to a members world and enjoy all of the benefits, you'll need to purchase a membership. You can do so using the store in the account management menu. Huh. Bonds are another thing that you should know about. You can purchase bonds from the store in the account management menu. Once you have some bonds, you can redeem them for membership. But why would I use a bond instead of just buying a membership normally? Unlike memberships, bonds can be traded with other players. You could purchase a bond and then sell it to another player for some gold. Ah, well that's... Okay. Yes. 
Alternatively, you could use your gold and buy a bond from another player. So if I used my gold to buy a bond from another player, I could get a membership without paying any real money? Exactly. Next up, you'll have the option to link your email and the name changer. Follow the instructions in the chat box? Okay. Why is this popping up now? Has this been here before? Why am I just seeing this now? Okay. Linking your email address will allow you to gain to sign into the website and access the game on other platforms. Once your email address has been linked, this will be replaced with your inbox, where you'll receive important information related to your account and the game. The name changer allows you to exchange your uh, wait, wait, what? The name changer allows you to change your display name if you don't like your current one. Be aware though that this is only available to accounts with memberships. Awesome. Is there anything else I should know about accounts? Your account is very valuable, and it's important that you look after it. Various tools can help with this, such as bank pins and two-factor authentication options. Okay. You'll find more information on account security in the customer support webpage. You can use the useful links section of the account management menu to get there. Anyway, that's everything I have to tell you about accounts. Let me know if you need a recap. Otherwise, head on to your next instructor. Cool. Move through the door. Current poll, active. PK Skull Prevention? What is that? Follow the path to the chapel and enter it. Once inside, talk to the monk. He will tell you about the prayer skill. Okay. Hello. We're going in. What do you mean? We're going in. Let me in. Nice. Hello, brother. How are you? Good day, brother. Hello, I am Brother Brace. I am here to tell you all about prayer. Click on the flashing icon to open the prayer menu. Prayer. Thick skin increases my defense by 5%. That's insane. What are these? Burst of strength. Clarity of thought. Cool. Smite? A quarter of damage dealt is also removed from opponent's prayer. Huh? Damage. Augury? Rigor? Piety? Chivalry. Protect from magic. Protect from missiles. Talk with Brother Brace and he'll tell you about prayer. This is your first prayer. Uh, this is your prayer list. Prayers can help a lot in combat. Click on the player prayer you wish to use and activate it. It is now active. Ah, I drain my points, but I can charge them at a holy spot. I've run out of prayer points. Ah, oh, fuck. Wow, those go away quick. What? Wait, what did he tell me? Oh, shit. Yeah, memester, we're playing RuneScape. I've never played this damn game before. Look, it's me. That's like the real Joberon. Yeah, neither did I. I've been getting recommended in my YouTube like 8 billion uh fucking RuneScape videos. And I was like, why don't I give it a try? Because I've been avoiding this game, like, for basically my whole life. I had a friend who forced me to play it, like, for, like, an hour at his house, and I hated it. But I've watched some of the videos, 
that I was getting recommended and was like, okay, this... This game might be good. So I decided I would start with old school RuneScape. I know a little bit about the game, but I... I certainly do not know anything more than a little bit, I guess. I don't even really know how I was trying to describe that. But anyways. This guy was telling me about each list. Click the add button and type the name into the box. What does this have to do with prayer? I can add friend. Uh, yeah, there's apparently lots of RuneScape. This is... This is like the first iteration of the game, I guess. It's kind of like World of Warcraft Classic, which I've been playing a lot of. And I think because of that, I and the War Classic World of Warcraft videos I've been watching, that's why I've been getting recommended Classic RuneScape videos. Because I imagine YouTube puts them in the same bin of people who will spend an insane amount of hours just clicking something. Just sit and click. And enjoy. To remove people from lists in the same way. If you don't if you add someone to your ignore list, they will not be able to talk to you or send any form of messages to you. Your friends list shows the online status of your friends. Friends are red and offline, green and online. And on the same world, and friends in yellow are offline but in a different world. Oh, I see. So green means they're online in my world. Red means offline altogether. Yellow means they're online but in another world. Okay. Okay, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. You're almost finished on Tutorial Island. Pass through the door to find the leading... the path leading to my final instructor. Guys, I'm graduating. I'm graduating from Tutorial Island. Ah, oh, I go... I go here. Can I pray at the altar? Hello. And I have a prayer point again. Woohoo! Let's go! Super fucking chill. Yeah, I think, uh, having RuneScape... You're gonna be at the graduation? Hell yeah. Memester, I'm playing for free. I'm on the free worlds. If you want, you can play. What time? I think it's in 15 minutes. Damn. You search the crate, but find nothing. My final instructor. Follow the path to the wizard's house, where you'll be shown how to cast spells. When you get there, just talk to the magic instructor. Can't travel that fast. You've got to level up your traveling skill. Is there a traveling skill? And can't walk on water. Hmm. In World of Warcraft, there's a water walking spell that shamans can cast. What's this? Rowboat? Only group iron players can cross over to the node. If you wish to become a group iron man, speak to the Iron Man tutor. Wait, what? An iron man? What the fuck is an iron man? Iron Man Tutor. Hello, Joverman. I am Paul the Iron Man Tutor. What can I do for you? Tell me about Iron Man. When you play as an Iron Man, you do everything for yourself. You don't trade with other players or take their items, or accept their help. As an Iron Man, you must choose to have these restrictions imposed upon you so everyone knows you're doing it properly. If you think you have what it takes, you can choose to become a Hardcore Iron Man. In addition to the standard restrictions, Hardcore Iron Man only have one life. 
In the event of a dangerous death, your Hardcore Iron Man status will be downgraded to that of a Standard Iron Man, and your stats will be frozen on the Hardcore Iron Man histories. High scores, ah. Uh. If you have some friends, you could stand alone. Together, as group Iron Men. Oh, I see. Group Iron Men have the same restrictions as regular Iron Men, except you can trade your items with each other. So it's like hardcore classic WoW. They put this in the game for them too? That's fucking good. That's really nice. I'm sure people who've been playing this game for like 8 billion years like this. If you're a daring bunch, you could try hardcore group Iron Men. With a hardcore group? Well, I don't have friends. If you decided to invite some ex unex some experienced players into your group, you would become un unranked group Iron Men, which are no longer shown in the group Iron Man histories. Ah. For the ultimate challenge, you can choose to become an ultimate Iron Man, a game mode inspired by the player Iron No Bank. What? In addition to the standard restrictions, ultimate Iron Men are blocked from using the bank and they drop all their items when they die. You want me to do Iron Man, memester? I've never even played before. Do we just damn Joberon to die? That seems... yeah. JK? I think that could be funny. Like, first, I'm like, hey guys, first time playing RuneScape. Watch me play for 15 minutes and then die to some garbage. That'd be funny. While you're on Tutorial Island, you can switch from being a standard ultimate or regular count. Once you've left this island, you'll be able to find my colleague Adam in Lumbridge, but he'll only let you switch your restrictions downwards, not upwards. So he will let Hardcore Iron Men or Ultimate Iron Men downgrade to Standard Iron Men, and he'll let non-group types of Iron Men become regular accounts. I must warn you that Iron Man mode is not recommended for new players. You can still give it a go if you're up for a challenge, though. I'd like to change my Iron Man mode. Do I do this? Do I actually just start playing a fucking game I've never played before and be like, yes, uh, give me the... Give me the, the awful difficulty, please. Nah, we're, we're fine. We'll make an Iron Man account maybe later. Or an Iron Man character. I can make another character on this account, I think. I do know that, like, the way that it used to be is that you had one character on your account. Your account is, like, that's why that guy was saying that. My account is my character. It seems like that's different now, because I can make 20 of them. According to the menu that I was reading. Follow the path to the wizard's house. Yes. Where? Is that the wizard's house? No, that's the fishing house. Where? Can I map? Look north? How do I... Hello? How do I... Huh? That was the church. Or was it the bank? Do I go here? Where the fuck does the wizard live? Oh, it is it is right here. He's right here. My bad. Hello. Good day, newcomer. My name is Tarova. Oh. Uh... Oh. Lol. I'm here to tell you about magic. Magic infer infer interface is this icon. Lumbridge Home Teleport, and then Wind Strike. This is your magic interface. All of your spells can be found here. 
The list is currently filtered to only show spells you have the magic level for. You can change this in the filter menu. Talk to the instructor to continue. Okay. Currently, you can only cast one offensive spell called Windstrike. Let's try it out on one of those chickens. Tarova gives you some air runes and mind runes. Okay. You now have some wind runes. Oh wait, some runes. All spells require runes to cast them. Look for the wind strike spell in your magic inter interface. Click on the spell to select it, and then click on a chicken to cast it. Okay. Wind strike. Chicken. Skabloosh. Oh wow, that was fucking awesome. I hit him for two damage. Oh, do I have to click in between every time? Cast this way. I've already done that. Perhaps I should move on. Ah, it's stopping me from casting again. It stopped me from shooting the um, the other rats and fighting them. Is that so you don't stay here and just fight things into eternity? To the mainland! You're nearly finished with the tutorial. All you need to do is move on to the mainland. Just speak with the magic instructor and he'll teleport you to Lumbridge. Excellent. Well, you're finished here now. I'll give you a reasonable number of runes when you leave. Do I want to go to the mainland? Yes. Do you want to go to the mainland, or would you like to talk to the Iron Man tutor first to learn about becoming an Iron Man? I already found him. I don't want to become an Iron Man. This is my first character. I don't think that's a good idea, right? Surely it's a bad idea. I think I just go to the mainland. And then I can I I can come back. Like I can make a second guy after I figure out how to play the game. Yeah. Yes, send me to the mainland. When you get to the mainland, go find your Oh wait, wait what? When you get to the mainland, you will find yourself in the town of Lumbridge. If you want some ideas on where to go next, talk to my friend, Adventurer John. You can't miss him. He's wearing light blue armor with... Can click, <laughs> click here to continue is fucking funny. A huge sword. <laughs> okay, yeah. Reading quests is gonna get really fucking goofy here in a minute. As soon as these get longer, I imagine they're going to get longer. It's gonna be pretty funny. There are so many tutors willing to teach you about the many skills you could learn. When you get to Lungbridge, look out for the adventurer John. He can be found outside of the Sheared Ram Pub. Hell yeah. Prepare yourself! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, okay. I, I really like, I really like how just like from a fucking other era that all of this looks. It's, it's really funny. I do like that he just yeah, <laughs> gets blasted away. Uh, that's funny. You look new around here. Welcome to the world of Gilinor. Dude, this guy's got the fucking biggest sword. Thanks. It's my first time here, and I'm not sure where to start. Well, luckily for you, that's exactly why I am here. What are adventure paths? A long time ago, I was a newbie adventurer just like you, who didn't know what to do, and I would be more than happy to pass on my experience. Wow, Giga Chad. I've created some adventure paths with which I recommend to start with. An adventure path is a list of bleh, bleh. an adventure path is a list of tasks which you can uh, complete in any order. To help you get started on your adventure path. I'll also give you a character starter kit with some useful items. Once you've completed an adventure path task, come back to me and I'll give you a reward. Start by opening your quest panel, and then select a flashing yellow star. Hell yeah. Wait. Ah. Ah. Set a path in the tasks to focus on the task name here. Wait, what? Hello. Get started with attack, strength, ranged, magic. 
You want me to do this? Okay. Interesting. Getting started with attack. Free. Check reward. Members get money? Why I get no money? Should I play free? I'll play free for now. Non-members. Steal longsword plus one. Times one. What is it? Oh, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I thought somebody was chatting this. I was like, what the fuck is that? All right. Cool. So, show paths. Combat path. Gather a path. Vulcan Eclipse. What's going on? I see. So, it's kind of like the two paths diverge. Quite literally. They can either teach me about combat, or they can teach me about the, uh, the clicking trees. Awesome. Well, then why don't I do these first? I'll decide if I like this game enough to play it, uh, like, beyond today. And then maybe I will become a member. I'll join members only. But for now, I'll do the quests that are not gonna lose me rewards. Because that'll make my brain itch the wrong kind of itches. But so now what the fuck do I do? I clicked on the path. It shows the path. Gather a path. Get started with fishing. Show hint. Huh? What the fuck? Oh, I go to the fishing spot. Well, that makes sense. Holy hell. Look at all of this. This is something. Oh my god. This game's big. What's all this? This game's really big. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm... I'm new new. I've played an hour of RuneScape in my life. And I went and had to go catch fishes at my friend's house and said... This game is not like the only other MMO I've ever played at that point in my life, which was World of Warcraft. And I said, thanks, Chief, but I'm good. And never played. Now here I am at the ripe age of 25. RuneScape is, like, nearly as old as I am. Figure it's time to give it a proper chance. Would really suggest downloading RuneLight for the Quest Helper and a bunch of more useful plugins. I recommend you don't do that. My experience with Classic WoW, um, because I have played, I have played a lot of WoW. I do know that, uh, the plugins and the add-ons can kind of, like, kill the soul of the game for a lot of people. So I'm going to actively avoid installing plugins for... I'd say most of my time playing this game. If I have to install a plugin, then it would be... It would be a loss for me. But I do appreciate the advice. That is always welcome. So, I need to go to a fishing spot, right? We've decided that we're gonna start with fishing. Arbitrarily speaking. I do have a, a, a marker here. It is telling me to go somewhere. Oh, is that the hint telling me to go... Is this what I clicked on? Is this the right way? There's a fucking vampire. Huh? Hello? Hi. Will you sell me cereal? I am Count Check, the renowned security ex <laughs> security expert. Would you like to check me? No, is this a fucking scam? Hello? No, uh, sure. Check my account. Is this gonna dox me? Do I need to take my... Wait, hold on. You do not have a bank bin. 
Oh no. Talk to the banker. I should probably, I should probably make that, like, offline, no? I'll do that when I'm not streaming or recording. I'll go make my bank pin. Yeah, do that offline. All right, good. Oh, wow. All right, we've caught some lag. Oh, we're loading again. Well, this is a... This is an intimate experience, isn't it? Because I can't make anything happen right now. All I can do is speak. And chat, all you guys can do is just watch. Watch as my game sits at 60%. This is... This is kind of wild. Hibble, hey. It's good to see you. I just realized that you were lurking. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why I'm loading like this. I also doubt... There we go. There we go. Is, uh, is this one of those games that's, like, pretty poorly compatible with, like, newer... Uh, like, hardware? Because my computer is, like, kind of, like, new-new. It also could just be... I don't know. I could just have fucked something up, maybe. Game runs fine? Alright. I think maybe it's just because it was the first time I was here. Because it did the same thing in um, the Tutorial Island. And I was stuck for quite a while. Oh, I can go to my inventory now. Wait a minute, where is it? Is there a hotkey for the inventory? Or no. I should go to World 301 for the authentic free-to-play experience. Okay. World 301. How do I get there? Let's see. Settings? Audio display? It's not there. All settings? No. I did it somewhere. I saw the I saw the menu before somewhere. Let's see, I can figure this out. Community? No. Grand Exchange? If I were to click the X in the top right, logout screen world switcher. Okay. Ah, here we go. Thank you. And you said it's 301. Are you sure you wish to go to 301? Yes, I will switch. Completing world transfer. Yeah, I'm here. I've arrived. Oh, and the music is fucking bumping. Let's go. If you are stuck on what to do next, try talking to Adventurer John about adventure paths. He can, found, he can be found outside of the Sheared Ram Pub in Lumbridge, which is east of the general store. This is where the majority of the free-to-play ha players hang out. Hell yeah. Thank you, Vulcan Eclipse. I appreciate that very much. And it does seem like there's a good bit of other people here. That's exciting. I will go to my fishing spot. Valormore is here! What is that? 9.95 Cool Oh, let's go! Fishing is level 2! That's exciting That actually feels nice. The little fireworks there, I do quite like I cast out my net So, these are my Whoa! These are all the spells? This is a lot 95? Wow. Okay, I think I kind of want to do magic. The magic seems exciting. That's a fraction of the spells? Really? Cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay. I'm catching some shrimps. 
I've got a few of them here. I cooked one earlier. Hello. What's up? Fixing levels? Lol. That 99W sing though. Hee <laughs> hee. I suspect that, uh, authentic shrimp fishing would be more, uh, efficiently done from a boat, no? What the fuck is this? Can I change what this is? What is this? Huh? Oh, is this showing me? Ah, uh, it seems that it shows me the list of things that I could possibly obtain. Interesting. Very interesting. I cast my net. Hell yeah, I got some shrimps. This is huge. This is really huge. I'm gonna become notorious for having the best shrimps. My shrimps will be delicious. Excellently seasoned. Grilled to perfection. What is this guy doing here? Can I fight him? Hey. Wield bronze sword. Yes. And wield wooden shield. Come here. Come here, silly man. Can I beat you up? Ouch. Wait, what? Examine. Attack. There we go. Ouch. Nice. Got him. Oh, fuck. Wait, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. Oh, nice. So it looks like we just have a chance to just do... We just miss, because we suck. What the hell? We've actually just been whiffing, back and forth, and then he hits me! Bastard! Wait, is he healing? Is that legal? Is that allowed? Fucking cheating rat! Actual rat cheater! Ah, the food does heal you. Okay, that's good. And it's showing what is possible to loot from different ways. Okay. Okay. It's good. They heal some health. I can eat some breads. Do I need to eat the breads? I didn't even need to eat the breads. Let's go. Raw meat. Some bones. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay. Berry bones? Excellent. What did that do? Ah, here's the here's the shrimps. Hello, shrimps. Net. Yes. What is this? Dude, that guy has a crazy outfit. What? Look at this. Hey, he's shooting us! You bastard! <laughs> it hurts. Hey, uh, wait, I got another thing. Was that the fireworks? Did I level up? Oh, that was somebody else's fireworks. Dog shit. Hey, that's mine. Let's go.
Congratulations. You've just achieved another fishing level. I'm level three. My inventory is full. I can bank my items at the bank. There is a bank at the top of Lumbridge. Lumbridge Home Teleport. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Ah! I get away! Get away. Get away. I'm scared. Run. Don't be scared. <laughs> Hannibal. Hannibal. How do I... How do I stop running? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Is this like a... How does this work? We're doing like a little dance. I can toggle b run by clicking the boot. Ah! Uh, 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 that's good. That's good. That's really useful. Right click on a player, you can follow them. I imagine that's what this person's doing. All right. Well, I need to go to the bank. Where is the bank? It's here. Ah, there's the bank. I'm going bank. No, oh, wait a minute. Vulcan Eclipse, is this you? Is this you? Wait, what is this? Large door. What is this? Why am I being pointed here? I thought I was looking for bank. What is this? Examine chair. It appears that I've made a critical mistake. This is not bank. I'm lost. Where bank? Where's bank? Oh, that's no, I don't I don't want to type. Wow, if I literally type, it just starts typing right away. I have to be very careful about that. How do I open my map? I click map. Now let's look north. Map? Loot tools? No. Hmm. First buddy. Bank is at the top floor of the castle? Ah. Is this the castle? So, are there stairs? Ah, up staircase. Here it is. I've got it. I've got the stairs. Climb staircase. Climb up. Aha! Thank you. Good day. How may I help you? How do I use the bank? Uh, yes. Using bank. 
bank tutorial? No, goodbye. I want to deposit thing. Let me put thing. Close. Yes. Ah, there's money in bank. Good. Hide worn items. New tab. Show tab. Okay. I can deposit raw meats. Will the meat spoils? And they probably won't spoil. It's probably fine. Ah, uh, you know what? I can put the uh I can put the runes in there. I wonder if I shift control alt. No. All right, we deposit all. All. All body runes, all earth runes. I don't need the pot. I don't need those. Uh, deposit that. We're fishing for right now. I can come back and I can get things. Later. I have my sword and my shield in case I get hurt. Deposit. If I would rather deposit all items in your inventory and then pull, out, pull back out only the items I want, I could click the backpack icon at the bottom right of the bank menu. Deposit inventory. Ooh. Well, I know for next time. Thank you. I will take the raw shrimps as well. Oh, and I can just like drag stuff as well. That's nice. Okay. Sweet. Um. And now I am fishing. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Because I remember from the tutorial that I had to make the campfires, right? And so it would make most sense if I'm going to fish that I also cook the fish afterwards, so I would need to make the fires. So maybe I should start by chopping trees? Maybe the trees is the better s start. I think that makes more sense. All right, I will deposit my inventory. And with me, I will take my axe and my pickaxe and my net and my tinderbox. That is all I want. Goodbye. Now, now I will go. Down the stairs. Ah, yes, I appreciate that. The optimal way is not my way. I seek great adventure and conquest in the lands of RuneScape. 150 M giveaways? Optimal way is boring? Yeah, we're here to have a, a fucking rowdy adventure. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna have a great time. Now where do I go? Trees. I can chop tree. Hello, tree. Oh, wow. Look at all the people here. Look at this. Look at these guys. Struggling for a bond? Three winners every 30 minutes. At kick.com bulwark? Epic nail in the head. Wow. I got some log. There are many bots in this game. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Chop down tree. Why can I not? I'm, it must be 15 before I can chop down that tree. I'm disallowed. Chop down dead tree? Surely I can chop these trees, right? That's smart. This guy can this guy can fight the goblins and the goblins can't hit him. I got to remember that. Hey, look at that. I got another level. I'm making so much progress. Thank you. Wow.
I have to keep moving to a different tree all the time. I was going to socialize, but I really just need to keep moving. Woodcutting is now three. Why is he under me? No, I didn't. Romeo, muzzle mouth, Ernest. There's so many bones everywhere. People should pick up after themselves. It's actually just litter everywhere. Oh, and then there's cows over there. I am a machine. I'm a machine. I'm glad it's exciting. I'm having fun. But it is, uh, it is rather painful standing here, burning alive. It is, it is pain. Oh, wait a minute. I mean... You just completed the task, getting started with woodcutting. Cool. And now I feel like I could take this, right? Clearly whoever got this doesn't want it. Moving on. Nobody saw anything. Don't tell anyone that I've taken their six water runes. So then I think what I can do, right, is I can get an inventory full of logs. And then I can make the fires? Oh, wow. I can make the fires, and then cook the, f the fishes that I got. And then I can keep some logs, so that I can take them with me to go fishing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. It's fine, surely. Bing bong. Wait, what? Bing bong. Oh, it's my inventory's full. All right, we ride. We ride. The best woodcutter in all of RuneScape shall be me. Now I go this way, and then I go up here to the staircase. Hello, stairs. Upstairs. Then I go this way. Bank. Nice. Let's go! Deposit inventory. Ah, oh, shit. And then I take these. Three, four. Well, actually, I don't even need these, right? Because I'm just getting the woods for now. Yeah, let's do that. Bang. We go staircase. Downstairs. Mind rune. Nobody saw that. It wasn't mine, but I don't know whose it was. 
It's mine now. I want to collect the runes because I want to do magic. The magic is, I think, with the first one that I want to do. That's of the, uh, of the combat variety. I think that'll be my first flavor. What the hell? There's like 8 billion of these guys. What? Her name is Steven. What is this? What the f What? <laughs> what? 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 And this is cool armor. Let's see if we can make a friend, guys. Oh my god, and now they have just showered with compliments from every every one of these fucking bots. <laughs> What? What is this? That what she said. Lol. Funny joke. Big funny joke. Ah, trees. This is where I need to be. Now I can get tree. Let's go. Woodcutting XP. 600. So how much do I get for one tree? Oh, it seems that I can just stay here and chop for like a while. Ah, uh, this is nice now. I don't have to move. I don't have to move between, oh, now I do, okay. Oak tree. Woodcutting level of 15 needed to chop down this tree. All right, well, fuck me then, I guess. Woodcutting's now level seven, let's go. All right, I got distracted by the bots, and now we've wandered here to where we have no friends. Maybe I could go make some friends somewhere else. He'd be cutting trees. Oh, I'm lagging. What's happening? Why do I load like this? Huh? Ah, oh, there we go. Genuinely never seen that. I'm not sure why this could be happening to me. Is it because I'm streaming? Surely it's got nothing to do with that. Bang. Woodcutting of 15. Bastard. What is this? Die. Nice. I'm trying to type in all capitals. I guess that's protection for, like, not being absolutely annoying to everyone. Which is probably for the best. I am probably being a little cringe trying to type in all caps. But I think I was more fascinated with the fact that it just cop- it just lets you capitalize the first letter. All the time. Just not the whole phrase. Pretty funny. 
Ouch. My attack is now two. Die, demon. Ah, oh, body rune. What is this? Bone. Bone. I'm glad to be here as well. I can't get it. Goblin mail? What's this? Can I wear it? That armor is too small for a human. For real? That's unfortunate. Nice. Now I get this tree. And I get to sit here and chomp for a while. Willow tree? Is that a new tree? New tree discovered? If I like League... On the contrary. I hate League. Wow, I can type. I, I really can type today. Yes, I would love to be friends. Fear ends. Yeah, we're typing that. Yes, I would love to be Fearnids. <laughs> yeah, that's how we're becoming friends from now on. Fearnids is the only way we're allowed to become friends. Doesn't matter if they ask if we want to be friends, Fearnids is happening. It's the right way to it's the right way to be. How do I become friends? Friends list? Add friend. Hanu Bill. Hanu. Hanu Bill. Bang. I have a friend. Success! We've made our first friend. Hey, Dick Insiders. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very much. It's an immense help, and is greatly appreciated. Falcon Eclipse, thank you so much for the follow. That's an immense help, and it's greatly appreciated. Chat GPT streamer. Me? I have to prove myself to be full of love and kindness. I am Space Lizard. Can I still do? Ah, I see. Ugh. 
Where's the emotes? <laughs> there's no, there's no fucking way. Look at this. What is that? Are you kidding me? This is great. <laughs> this is, this is so good. These emotes are, they look unholy. <laughs> Whoa! I made a tree! Oh, that's good. When you meet players, you like to show them love. That's great. That's really nice. Man, my taste as a kid was horrible. I can't... <laughs> What's this Scooby-Doo ass looking legs? What was that? How did that happen? I can spin. Headbang is the funniest one. The headbang is really, really good. <laughs> Raspberry panic. Oh, it's panic. That's what it is. Hey, yo What is that? That's a sick emote. I want that oh, Wait, you've disappeared into the ether There we go. Now my friend is back Let's go level nine Holy shit I can attack duck. I'm going I'm going to get duck. Attack duck. Attack duck. Attack duck. Attack. Attack duck. Can I not can I not attack duck? Huh? Any jigglers? Hello. Excellent. Hey, this music's kind of nice. What? Hibble wishes to trade with me. Trade with Hibble? Check offer? What is this? An uncut emerald? I can't even see it. I guess this is the, uh, authentic streaming experience. I'll accept the uncut emeralds. For absolutely nothing. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you very much. But, I'm going to try to avoid taking items from people. For the most part. I'll try to find things on my own. It was a reward for a random event. Really? It's honestly nothing? Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. I thank you. I thank you, friend. 
What the hell is this? Why is my screen loading? Willow tree? I need 30 to chop down that tree. Those trees do not mess around, man. Nice. Seem to be enjoying woodcutting. It's nice. But I don't like the uh the fart noise that I get I get dealt every time my inventory's full. It makes my heart start racing. It makes me think I need to go to the bank and make a deposit. And then I think to myself, this way is not to the bank. Yeah, this isn't the bank. Is the bank this way? Maybe this way? Do do do. Why am I stuck like this? What is going on with my game? Why does my game load like this? That's honestly atrocious. Atro atrocious. I can say that word. There we go. Ah, here. This is town. Here's the town. This is it. It's here. Wow, so the loading really does just happen anytime I come back to one of these places. Is there a way to fix that? Surely that's not right. Surely that's not how this is supposed to be. Like, that can't be right. Something must be gravely wrong. What is my game running on? Windows 11. Hard drive or SSD? I'm on a hard drive. I unfortunately don't have an SSD yet. What is happening? Ah, there we go. I'm free from purgatory. Okay, I need to take a break. It would rather be a RAM issue. Ah, you know what? I haven't restarted my uh, I haven't restarted my computer in quite some time because I've just been constantly uploading. So, uh, over lunch, I'll uh, I'll restart my computer because I'm actually about to end stream for a little while and take a break. Um, I normally don't stream in the middle afternoons, but I'm having a good time playing RuneScape, so I think I might just come back and keep playing, and uh, continue the stream past lunch. Hey, Zatanki, thank you so much for the follow. That's a really big help. I mean, honestly, like, thank you guys so much. If I stream mornings, that would be awesome, because that's your free time. Yeah, I stream uh, from 7 a.m. until, uh... Oh, wow. Make sure you go to bed. Go to bed on time. I stream from 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time until about... I'm sorry, not 7 a.m. Uh, 10 a.m. 7 a.m. Is, is old news. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, is when I stream. Uh, and that's Eastern United States Time. And then I end stream for uh, what used to be like a couple of hours. And now I think now that I'm playing RuneScape, I might only end for like half an hour or an hour um, while I eat. And then I'll come back and start stream again and then we'll keep playing through the day. Um... I upload all of my VODs for my streams in their entirety on YouTube, uncut, so if you miss a stream at any point and you want to catch it, or find out what happened, or if, you know, I was in the middle of doing a quest or something that you wanted to see, um, those will be on YouTube, and uh, as time goes on, I might take the uh, more interesting quests and stuff like that and edit them into shorter videos, um, like highlights and stuff like that, but the full, the full VODs will always be on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna go to the bank and deposit my stuff. And then we're going to go back up. It's going to be great. Climb upstairs? Yes. Bank booth. Yes. 
I will deposit my whole inventory. And then just take my axe. Excellent. Honestly, you will probably watch the VODs that you inevitably miss as content for a while. You're doing other things. No problem. I appreciate that you were even here at all, and that you've you have any interest in my playing this game. Thank you so much. And it was really nice to meet you and play with you. You were very nice. And I think it's really cool that you like to help new players. Because there are lots of games where uh, new players kind of get, like, stomped on, and, like, treated like second-class citizens. And, uh... This is my first day streaming RuneScape, but it seems there's a lot of people who've just been interested in, like, seeing a new player. Thank you very much. I will work hard in my growth. I will work hard to become a citizen. Ah. There's a wave and a point. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sorry. Wave and point? I am new. Do not try to be rude. How I dance like that. Flex. Emotes? What is that? Look at the push-ups! I want that! I want that so bad. Premier Shield. <laughs> what is that? Salute. That's a kiss. Wave. There we go. Think. Oh, these are great. These are so good. Yeah, I like this. I like the dance a lot. <laughs> the headbang. The headbang looks so fucked. It looks so. It's. It looks so weird, man. It's so funny. I have decided. I like RuneScape. And I'm sad I didn't play earlier. <laughs> it's, it's just so bad, man. What the fuck? Oh, man. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go eat. I'm going to end stream. Thank you to everybody for watching. Um, it's uh, It's been a pleasure. RuneScape seems like it's uh, it's going to be a pretty good treat for us to play. I wasn't really expecting uh, to have any amount of fun doing this. I was more just curious since I've been getting so many recommended uploads from like a gazillion RuneScape creators. Because um, YouTube algorithm is just trying to put me on RuneScape. I think it's deciding my fate. So, Sea Kite wants to trade with me? Trade. Sea Kite? Iron Full Helm? I will decline. Respectfully. You are nice. I like that. Thank you, Sea Kite. Wow. People are people are so cool. I like this guy's cape too. Is there a way to change my direction? Yeah, don't hate, don't take handouts. Yeah, and I'm not reading anything. Um, I'm also not watching any uh, any more of the uh, videos. 
Level 99 wood cutting cape, which is max level. Wow. All right. Well, that's the new uh, that's the new mantra. So I'm reading tutorials. I'm reading quests. I'm installing no plugins, um, and uh, I'm not gonna look at the wiki for anything. And I'm gonna play RuneScape until I've done everything in this game. And I will stream it for as long as people will watch. However, even if I weren't streaming. I think at about this point, I would decide, yeah, I'm going to do everything in this game. It's many hours of gameplay. Indeed. We'll see, uh, we'll see if I can, if I can stack up to the task. Surely I'm up for the challenge. Anyways, I'm logging out. It was good seeing you. And I'll be back in probably an hour. Um, if you want to keep up to date with uh, when I'm live or with uh, any goings on for my channel and uploads and stuff like that, feel free to join my Discord channel. The uh, link is in my About section. I've been Joberon. Thank you for watching. See you.